Okay, so we're still on this road trip and it's been a long time since I've done one of these. They feel more like confessions. But right now we're in Charlottesville, Virginia, outside the Shenandoah Mountains, and you can hear a river in the background. And I'm currently doing this video in this house with no walls. And it's really, really spectacular. So I thought I'd make this video about all the things that I've done in my life have led me to this one road trip. And this road trip was my self-discovery. But the way it started for me was I had to be brave enough to say no to a lot of things. And in 2003, I made the choice not to go to college because I felt like college wasn't going to show me anything in life. It wasn't going to teach me anything and it didn't feel right. I used my heart as my compass and I said, this was not a choice for me. The next choice was I'm working in a job that I didn't like and it was of course going to give me climbing the ladder and making a lot of money but I didn't feel like that was living either and at 20 I could have got married but it didn't work and didn't feel like it was going to be any better if I stayed with that and all these choices that I said no to eventually made me feel like <laughs> I didn't make any of the right choices because it didn't lead anywhere and I wasn't successful like everybody else but I had to make those choices so that I wouldn't be successful in the normal ways because I needed to find myself. And myself was not going to be found in the ways of everybody else's society's plan. And when I went on the road trip, I found out a lot of things about myself. And a lot of those things were uh, my limitations and the walls that I put up for myself. And I realized that we didn't need a lot of comforts to live, that there were other ways to live. And um, it was a journey that I would highly recommend for anybody going somewhere without a plan and you can find out a lot about yourself and it can inspire you and society's plan isn't for everyone and um, it could lead you to being successful but successful isn't always happy so you have to follow who you are and what makes you happy and sometimes it feels like you're making the wrong choice because it's different than everybody else's choice but if you follow it and you stick with it, it eventually will be very fruitful. And for me, the success of our road trip for six years continuous across America has uh, led us to finally volunteering in the kindness to uh, different people that we meet across the way. And whether we're making and baking goods at the Ronald McDonald House or we're serving the homeless in Florida or we're house-sitting people for people, their animals, their pets, and so they can go on vacations and see their families or just different things in every state we've learned to be kind to one another. And I guess that was way the way it had to be for me because I think if I would have stayed in all those other choices, I never would have figured out my kindness and my potential and the kindness. So I wanted to share this video because I wanted people to know that if it doesn't feel right in your life, don't make the choice like everybody else. Be different and find your own path and uh, don't feel like you have to be stuck. So that's why I wanted to do this video in the house with no walls because a house shouldn't feel like you should be stuck. And this house doesn't make me feel stuck because it feels like you can go places and it feels open. You can hear the river and you can connect with nature. So if you feel stuck in life, then you need to ask yourself, why do I feel stuck and do, can I change that? Can I be different? Can it be different for me? And if it worked for a girl who has been on a road for six years in a small car, then it could work for anyone. So if you have to, you know, get in a car and drive somewhere. And if it's so beautiful, sleep in your car in the night under the stars and just enjoy that moment. And um, it could be... It sounds strange, but it's invigorating to sleep in a car in a beautiful place, like if it's in the mountains or by a river. Like just make sure it's pulled over in a safe spot. <laughs> but I share that because uh, sometimes you have to go outside the box in order to find out who you are. And that's my life.